What's up guys, CJ back once again for Kung Fu Night and it is time for The Office. We're on season eight, episode four. It is called Garden Party. For starters, if you enjoy the content, feel free to hit the like button right below and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. It lets me know you enjoy the content. And we have a Patreon, a Patreon link in the description. We have a number of tiers that are available out there. Full and uncut reactions, anything that you might be missing here on the YouTube side uh, is available over there for all of the shows and our lineup. The last time we had Lotto, it was a Daryl-centered episode. Uh, it really highlighted the Andy and Daryl bromance. Um, always love seeing those two together. You know, definitely an L for Daryl in this. Well, at least started off with an L, but he kind of, you know, came to terms and accepted where things were. You never want to try to, um, I don't know, be apathetic in your work and just kind of give up. You got to stay on that grind, man. Uh, but he could have made six figures just like that. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. He's up in the office. He's not in the warehouse anymore. I think we hired a new warehouse team. But we have Garden Party this time. I feel like this might be linked to Angela's fiance's story and kind of maybe something, maybe fundraiser. That's kind of what I project a little for this episode. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but let's find out. I'm not gonna waste too much time. I'm gonna get right into it. What? Oh, shit. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> if there's an opportunity for a graffiti artist to work in a phallic shape, interacting with the art. Oh no! <laughs> Great billboard, funny, edgy, right up to the line without crossing it. it. Which one did you see? <laughs> Maybe Gosh, her she line. Just the one with like twenty dongs on it. Okay, don't be gross. Damn. What's going on? Somebody to face the billboards we just put out. From the photo shoot with you and me. Yeah, Dwight. <laughs> oh no, no, no! No! Oh! <laughs> it's really not. Now, stated arrival time. Oh, is we're going to shoot farms. I don't get the reason for this party. Yeah, what's the reason? What's the reason, Andy? What's the reason? It's just a garden party. <laughs> Reminders. The show is all about the parties for no reason. Take small bites and chew thoroughly. What happens when we're done chewing? Do we spit it out on the floor or keep it in our mouths the rest of the time? I get it. I'm being a little overbearing. Please don't. Not a barbecue. It's better than a barbecue. It's dignified, quieter. There are rules. What the fuck is wrong with a barbecue? Better than a barbecue? What's the dress code in this? Party. Guys, my family just threw a garden party to celebrate my brother's promotion. It was a huge success. Who's the sausage? It's my dad and my brother. <laughs> I He's a sausage in, now. Melody doesn't really support Robert California getting an invite to your party. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. I would see the reason I mean, now. Yeah, I think he did. Didn't you just say this was to impress Robert yep. California? <laughs> I cannot believe Shut up, Gabe. Like Andy, how about you don't steal my business strategies? Or your girlfriend. So, you so we've typed in the address. Now let's take a look at the street view. They don't <laughs> warn you when the cameras are driving by. Uh, <laughs> I've been wanting Schrute Farms to break into the high-end event hosting industry for some time. I've got a secret weapon. Sold it to me for two dollars. James Trickerton. I'm <laughs> <laughs> really disappointed how poorly my book is doing. Oh, oh shit! Oh, another point for Jim. I've already gone up another cup size. <laughs> the senator is grossed out. When do you start feeling it kick? Cece was around 22 weeks, but Philip was much earlier. It's after my grandfather. Philip is the name that we're using. It's after my favorite cat. It's after my grandfather. There you it's go. It's after my cat. Wow. She does great. clean her cats with her mouth, though. <laughs> so just standing there and the way he runs. I'm the valet. You have to give me your car. Better than I'm I the would. valet. You have to give me your car. It's a, it's a, a finicky. Pump it in reverse, bro. <laughs> Did you hand him an acorn? Here's just Moe's being Moe's. Mr. Ryan Howard! Chapter 2. Alright, this party looks kind of dope, though. Stanley Hudson and his mistress, Cynthia! So he's trying to project. Pamela and P.P. Halpert! Mr. and Mrs. Walter and Ellen Bernard! 
said you were running the company. The, this branch. I'm the regional manager. Yes. Okay. Oh, that makes more sense. Are you all regional managers? Did I throw this party to impress? Can I introduce you around now? Uh, yeah, we don't have too long. It's like he's trying to settle into his new role here as the manager. Moneyball. And kind of be comfortable with himself, know that he is good enough, it seems like. I'm Walter. I'm Andy's younger brother. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> that was yeah. random. Tuna. This is awesome. <laughs> Chapter four. One of the host's most important duties is as dance master. Okay. A proper courtly dance <laughs> the entire afternoon. Robert, California. I'm surprised he didn't just immediately turn around and just walk off. Hello, Andy. Welcome. Anyways, that I think this thing is broken. Did you bring him what he broken, didn't want? Kevin, this is how it works. Oh, Kevin. So pretty. To <laughs> There's so much going on right now. I think we should be acknowledging our boss because none of us would be here without him. Robert California. Sir Robert. Sir Robert. Robert. Sir Robert. Sir Robert. Sir Robert. To someone who isn't here, welcome to the world. Philip Lipton would like to toast <laughs> Philip Halpert. <laughs> be a good namesake to my grandfather that I would one day name my son after. We're doing this. Always has to copy anything I do. Angel's been wanting to link up with all the troops. Uh, Jenna this whole Both time. Sides. Oh, you freaking douche. Both I sides. Is not only welcome, but expected entertainment at any garden party. To Robert California. <laughs> oh. I would also like to Robert California. Oh Mr. God. California. You can't get off his fucking dick. Somebody. I should be toasting you, thanking you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. From the moment you entered our building and our hearts, you Some of you know just... that we have an internet ah. age. Uh, I'm eating, Andy. Ah. Yeah, just... Come on. You gotta let's give somebody a heads up and before you drop shit like this on Okay. Them. Okay. But I don't know what this is. Chill strange. Yeah, just take it down. Right. <laughs> Seeing I love, thinking I love you. Okay. <laughs> oh God! It's not that I Is anyone filming this? Seriously, Aaron. It's either taping or calling. <laughs> so fucking uncomfortable. Yeah, no. no, come up and do something with me. Jesus Christ, Meredith. And he came in immediately, and he's cool with it. Damn! We know who the favorite is. He's gonna freak out, bro. Cheers! All right. What's going on? Cheers, cheers, cheers. Get your own guitar. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Whew. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> The pewter package has the least amount of goats. It's not no goats. It's still 10 to 12 goats, depending on the availability of the goats. Now, the goat package, obviously, <laughs> the most goats. What were you thinking? Hippo steaks, giraffe burgers. Oh, shit. Black market stuff. We'll talk. Oh, and he's about it. What? It'll all be goat that you're proud of me. I'm not going to tell you how impressed I am that you're... A manager of some rinky-dink branch of a paper company in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Oh, like a little no. I think if I had parents like that, I'd be trying to convince everyone all the time how great I was, too. Guess mm. we found Andy's Rosebud. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ah, wow. Yes, that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Cheeseburger or hamburger? Cheeseburger? No, I don't. Thanks, Oscar. <laughs> what is happening? I don't care. It's amazing. Nice touch. <laughs> I think I'll have my wallet in your house. Who cares? Mr. James Halpert! <laughs> 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 Mr. 
<laughs> Who do you think is really the best salesman in this office? Obviously me! <laughs> <laughs> You know, somehow I always think that the best endings, you know, those last scenes that they have in the show are behind me. And then we get those just like this one. Amazing, very, very good. I think Jim is up in the Dwight versus Jim, Jim scale in, the, in that battle right now. I think he's in the lead. This man wrote an entire book that dictated how this whole afternoon went. Very impressive, Jim, very, very impressive. Very uncomfortable episode, but really good episode. Um, you can definitely feel for Andy and his situation with his family uh, and being what they would see as an underachiever. Him wanting their approval, uh, feeling a little insecure in his, his success. Something was weird with his brother. <laughs> Three times we had him look at Jim and another woman, actually two, it was Phyllis and then Meredith and he just cannot see the difference in other women. He just called all of them Pam. That was weird. I don't know what would cause that in a human being, but he seemed normal otherwise. I don't know what the fuck was going on with that. Anyways, we had a little duel between Pam and Angela. Angela claims Pam is trying to copy everything that she does, but I think it's actually the reverse of that. <clears throat> now that Angela has been pregnant, she has always been going to Pam for advice and wanting to go on walks with her and wanting to spend time with her. And she said Philip after Pam said Philip. And we have the little grandfather thing, but I, th I think Pam Loki, not Pam, I think Angela Loki wishes, I think Angela Loki wishes that she was more like Pam. Deep down, I think she'll deny that to her dying day. But it's that, that, that's what it seems like. Uh, what else do we have here? We had everybody sucking up to Robert California. And uh, I love the Moe stuff. I assume he's still writing on the show. I forget, I forget the man's name, the actor's name, but I loved his antics. I thought he was trying to shit on Toby when he got the car at first, but he was just doing Moe's things, fucking doing some evil Knievel things and attempt at it. Uh, fucking up some hoods and fucking up some um, roofs of cars, man. Hey, man. And Dwight didn't even put him up to it. He just did it, you know? I loved the results of Jim's effort as James Trickerston, the author of the book and how to host a garden party. Uh, I love seeing Dwight and his ceremonies. Dwight, the master of ceremonies. Uh... They got it. That beef farm has got to be doing some, um, making some good money in order to be able to hire all of these people and perform and practice these ceremonies. Think about it. There's got to be money in beets and those vegetables that he has out there, man. It's not just a place where kids go and uh, hook up. I think that was the thing that they said many seasons ago, right? I think that's it. Y'all, I'm going to close this reaction out. If you enjoyed this reaction, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when the next Office reactions are coming out. Next episode is called The Spooked. Bro, there's a Halloween episode every season, it feels like. That one's available on Patreon, depending how you're watching this, as well as probably all the rest of the episodes of the whole series, because we're probably done by this point, if you're watching this on YouTube. Um... Again, links in the description for Patreon tiers, full and uncut reactions. Check out everything that you are missing here over on the YouTube side. Anything that is cut out is available over there. And remember to like the video. It helps the channel grow. And remember to subscribe. Much appreciated, y'all. And uh, enjoy your day. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. I wanna take you for a ride.